Hello, my name is Dearnan, and I'd like to welcome you all back to uh, the railroad I've been working on. I know it's been a few months, and during that time there have been long periods of complete inactivity, um, and every once in a while I'll get a bit of energy and, and work on something. At first glance you can tell I've built a lot, some things have changed, and uh, I'd like to, to let you know what's going on. The overall plan uh, is still the same, with a large city here representing a large city in the northwest, uh, that r then the railroad runs south, which is currently behind the camera, um, uh, up a valley, then up into the mountains, over the mountains, into the desert, to another city, then further southwest across the desert, uh, over some more mountains, and to a uh, final city that uh, represents uh, a city like those in uh, Southern California. Thus, the whole railroad represents uh, the west, essentially. So what I've got here, uh, right in front of me, is the new roundhouse and the new yard. This is actually the latest stuff I've been building. Uh, I decided that the yard that we had was way too small. Uh, after building a train in a, in a different uh, uh, layout and thinking, eh, this is kind of a moderately sized train, nothing special and it wouldn't fit in the yard here. So I thought, wow, my yard needs to be a lot bigger. So I started using the measuring tool, found out that it was way short of a mile, and uh, the whole thing was way short of a mile, let alone being able to fit mile-long trains and, and anything like that in it, uh, over uh, in, in both sections of the yard. So I completely rebuilt the yard using the measuring tool, which you can see here, this nice rainbow effect here. I measured out uh, 6,000 feet and uh, put uh, or stretched out these tracks here, which are the inbound and outbound uh, parts of the yard. Over right around this curve is uh, where that section starts, and over here I built about a mile's length of uh, uh, classification yard uh, where they're going to sort the trains, etc. And this stuff over here is the uh, tracks that come in off the main line, which is this, this track here. I'm probably going to double that, put, uh, lay a second main line track next to it, um, at least to this end of the yard. Right now it's single lane until the, the north end of the yard. This little building here is uh, car shops. And uh, this building here is uh, just the yard office and tower. And over here we've got the engine facilities with the diesel facilities right here, diesel shops, uh, fueling, etc. right here. Uh, and over here for uh, obviously the roundhouse and table with uh, the facilities for the steam engines. Uh, this river, which uh, in the previous video came down and then crossed over and met this river, uh, because I wanted to expand the yard, I decided that this river will actually cut across this side of the hills and off into the distance on that side. Um, as you can see, I added roads. This is the residential area, which is the first thing I built after the last video. Um, it's pretty, uh, pretty detailed, actually, especially along here. Uh, since that's close to the tracks, I've got lots of weeds and grass and trees and whatnot. And uh, this stuff over here, I may have to cut down on the detail uh, because it's far from the tracks, but it still adds a lot of polygons um, that the uh, game engine has to render, and that's going to slow things down. Um, over here in the industrial area, uh, let's 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 look a little detail over here. We've got I put in a little propane tank facility right there, uh, fire station. Uh, various other things in here. Got all the houses. Turn this into a street with various commercial buildings, mostly stores. Um, then over here, we've got a lot of warehouses. Um, over here, where the industry is, I did quite a bit of changing. Uh, the track used to come in from over this direction, like this. I flipped it so it comes from this side. Did that for both of these. That, mean, that makes it so that a train with the uh, 
engine on the lead can cut through here and then back in uh, the various cars into the uh, various tracks that it needs to go. Um, over here, as you can see, the track cuts across the uh, this river, which is no longer a navigable river. Um, comes over here, then we have a siding here, and a, a dock over here for uh, logs and lumber. Nothing's finished beyond this point, but the track will go off in that direction. I'll probably have a smaller uh, town area over here. It's still part of the, the large metropolitan area. And I'll probably put in a little station or something and have a commuter train that runs over this way as well. Um, over here, back over to the industry. Uh, I've uh, kept most of the buildings on this side of the track, this side over here, but I replaced all these buildings over here um, with more detailed models uh, because they're right next to the track, so the better detailed they are, uh, the better it will look uh, for the trains. Um, and, and let's see, I've obviously done a lot of, of work with the uh, plants, texturing the ground, putting in trees and brush. I think this barn, the trees and br the bushes next to it looks really cool. It's just an old derelict barn on an undeveloped lot. And then over here I replaced some of the tanks with uh, slightly better looking ones. Um, filled in this area here with more businesses. And, and over here I completely replaced and rebuilt the uh, Container yard. This bigger one is actually part. Uh, comes with the game. I didn't have to download it. Um, these red lines in here. Uh, those are just these um, uh, barriers. Uh, I built. Uh, I put them there to help guide uh, vehicles, trucks into the uh, container area to, to do their pickups and drops off, drop offs. I'm probably, well, I'm thinking of rebuilding this because these tracks here are supposed to be um, sidings for trains that come over here to sort into these uh, dock areas. But with the road passing right over it, that kind of makes it a little difficult and odd. I also have a road over here doing the same thing, although that's a, a minor secondary road. Um, I may end up putting a road that cut, comes over here, passes around instead of here, except that I really like this spot here. Um, I don't know, I've, I've even considered changing some stuff over here. Uh, over at this end, uh, I may narrow this, this dock here, because there's nothing I really want to put back here. Um, so, you know, things are still a little bit uh, up in the air. Oh, I added this this bridge here um, because that's the way the uh, commuter train will go. It will come along and cut across here. And then over here, got uh, nothing built yet. This is, of course, where going to be the where the uh, downtown and the older industries are going to be. And uh, so. I wanted to let you all know that uh, I'm still slowly at work on this, uh, getting things done here and there, and um, occasionally replacing stuff, um, building nice little little roads along rivers and plopping lots of trees. Um, again, these trees, I, I don't know. Up on the hill, they'll be low resolution trees just to save on, on frame rate, polygons and all that. And um, anyway, uh, uh, there's a little elementary school over here. Uh, when I rebuilt the yard, I wanted to keep it over here so that this area could be seen because I thought I had some nice scenery in there. Um, anyway, uh, I think I'm going to sign off here. Um, Thank you to those who have, have watched and those of you who have sent encouraging uh, comments and messages my way. Uh, it's been very helpful and uh, very welcome. Thank you very much. I'll see you later.